Hello everyone, my name is Mark Florence and I'm with the Southwest Technical College and Solar PV Outlaws. In this video we're going to talk about PV source and output circuits as outlined in the 2017 National Electrical Code. Let's get started. In 690.7A2 of the 2017 National Electrical Code, it talks about silicon modules and using table 690.7A. And so 690.7a, one thing you want to keep in mind with this is that it can only be used when, you're, when you actually are using crystalline or multi-crystalline PV modules that operate at temperatures above negative 40 degrees C. Modules can go below that negative 40 degrees C, but what they're saying is, is with this table is that it doesn't have any ratings below negative 40 degrees C. So the two things you want to look at first off is here's the table on the left hand side of the screen. It actually has the ambient temperature that the system would be exposed to in Celsius on the left hand side of the screen. On the right hand side of the screen it's the ambient temperature in Fahrenheit. Um, one thing to keep in mind I used to basically only think in Fahrenheit now that I've been dealing with solar for so long uh, I really think a lot more in Celsius because all the modules, that's how they're rated, that's how the equipment looks at it, and so I've just started learning to, to convert everything over to Celsius. So anyways, on that uh, table you can see there are two different temperatures there. And then this is the multiplication factor right here. So based on whatever temperature you're dealing with, so for example here in Cedar City, Utah, we're at negative 21 degrees Fahrenheit is the lowest expected temperature. I would come down at negative 21 degrees Celsius. I I may have said that wrong. In Cedar City, we're at negative 21 degrees Celsius. That's the lowest temperature that we would expect during the winter that a PV system will, be, uh, will experience. So if I wanted to use this table, I would come down here and find negative 21. And you can see right here it's negative 16 to negative 20 or negative 21 to negative 25. That's the one that I would want to use. And we come across here and you can see it has a factor of 1.2. What that means is whatever voltage, the open circuit voltage the modules are uh, rated at, we would multiply that by 1.2. So if we had a 40 volt module and we had 10 of those in series, so it's 40 times 10 is 400, at that lowest expected temperature using this table, we would actually take 1.2 times 400, and that would give us the total uh, high or the low or the maximum voltage that system we'd expect to see out of that system. So that's how we would use this uh, table. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this information to be useful and you'd either like to stay connected or be notified about future videos, please be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I hope to see you in the future. Thanks.